How's it going, everybody? Um, today, I wasn't planning on streaming. I wasn't planning on streaming for the rest of the month. Uh, if you were looking at the Twitter, I was going to take the rest of the month off to uh, just focus on personal stuff and make uh, changes to the channel to make it better. And that's still happening. Um, but I noticed that uh, there was the PlayStation Showcase today, which I totally forgot about. And I was just going to watch the highlights. But then I thought, oh, maybe, you know, maybe people would be interested. So I'm starting it late. I'm not watching it live. I don't know anything except for one thing. I got spoiled of one thing, which is kind of what made me decide maybe I should get my reaction to this um but anyway yeah we're, we're just gonna watch this uh yeah hopefully nobody comes into the chat and spoils it uh i i did get spoiled on one thing all i heard was a name so we're, we're gonna start here at the beginning and uh yeah And it's coming out of the wrong speaker. All right. Hold on a second. <laughs> good start. What a good start. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay. This is dumb. <laughs> this is really dumb. Can we just get to the games? I really like the way the Nintendo Directs work, where they just do a, a PowerPoint of trailers and stuff, and then they let us go on with our day. We don't need all the pomp and circumstance. Just show us the fucking games, right? Cinematic trailer, not actual gameplay. Off to a good start. Fantastic. Um, I'm gonna guess. Seems like everyone does these days. I'm gonna guess Watch Dogs. Too much money and too much power is held by just a few people. And it's only getting worse. So, we decided to do something about it. Let's go. Fuck this. God, how much are you paying your developers? Oh, maybe I should mute this. Alright, I muted it because, you know, there's a copyrighted song playing. Look at how lavishly produced these cutscenes are. Or, I don't even know if they're cutscenes. They're probably just part of the trailer. But... I'm so fucking sick of media that's like, yeah, eat the rich, fuck the rich, let's get back at them. And it's like, it's made by like grunts that are getting paid nothing. How much are you paying your developers? Fucking pennies. This game probably costs like a hundred million dollars to make and the developers probably got fucking little of that. What a bunch of bullshit. I don't even know if it's going to be a fun game or not, but I just, I hate games, or not even games, but anything that's got that message, and it's just so clearly, uh, hypocritical. Like, you definitely exploited your workers Hi, to make this. I'm Jim Ryan, President and CEO Fuck of that. Sony Interactive Entertainment. I'm delighted to be here today to introduce What's Next for PlayStation 5. We're now into the third year of the life cycle of PS5. It's kind of crazy, actually, <clears throat> that it's already three years old. Favorite titles released on the platform. What's even more exciting is that developers are just scratching the surface of what's possible with the gaming experiences that they create. Today, you'll get a glimpse into some of the most breathtaking and imaginative content that will be coming. I just want to see Spider-Man. 
PlayStation VR That's... 2. And now, what we've all been waiting for. Enjoy the show. God. This sucks. Super Earth. Our home. Our way of life. But freedom doesn't come free. <laughs> oh. oh, um, Starship Troopers. I heard there was a Starship Troopers game coming out. I wouldn't think they'd put a trailer for it in this. Happening all over the galaxy right now. And you could be next. That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Join the Helldivers. This is Starship Troopers, right? It's it's got to be. <clears throat> Experience true freedom. The, the freedom to travel the galaxy. And or maybe it's a knockoff of the bugs. I don't know. The freedom to encounter fascinating life forms and introduce them to our sophisticated technology. So I'm thinking some Starship Troopers and some Earth Defense Force. Uh, that's not a bad mix. What Super Earth has to offer. Super Earth. Part of an elite peacekeeping force and work together to spread prosperity, liberty. Democracy. Become part of something larger than yourself. <laughs> Become a hero. Become a legend. Become a hell diver. Okay, so that's not a Starship Troopers game. I'm I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I mean, that looks fine. I don't know. This looks neat. Got some like dishonored Bioshock kind of spell casting going on with the with an FPS. Looks fine. I don't know. I I think they've already kind of shown the whole game here, uh, you know, in terms of the loop, uh, the gameplay loop. Your men killed my family. Don't turn your back on me. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. It looks, it looks fine. Uh, it kind of looks like a, kind of looks exhausting. Like the way the the, uh, the designs, like the way the world looks and shit. Reminds me of Quantum Mania. <laughs>
Hey, how's it going, Cameron? Hey, look, it's that new Tron game. What I'll say about the last game is that at least it was gameplay. This is... Oh, maybe this is gameplay? I don't know. It wasn't before, that's for sure. Okay, you know, I think I heard of the first game. Uh, I don't really care. <laughs> I just want Spider-Man. I don't really care about this. Uh... That first game pissed me off, though. The first one they showed off. Very, uh, from soft looking. This looks cool. <clears throat> it's got some, you know, some... I don't want to say Dark Souls, because it's like Sekiro and Bloodborne too. Just, you know, like the FromSoft kind of vibes, and then some, some Ghost of Tsushima, some Revengeance. It looks cool. Definitely the most interesting out of the ones they've shown so far. Frank Dufoni over-the-top reactions. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> The key master Put on his side. All we have to do is wait. Okay. Yes. Let's kill him with time. Phantom Blade Zero. Yeah, that looks neat. Get my heart back. I might give that one a shot. Uh, the other two games they showed before this, I just wasn't interested. They're just like... I don't know. And then that first one pissed me off. I said that already, but you weren't here for it. It was like a game where they were... Like, it was kind of like Watch Dogsy, And they were like, oh, eat the rich. And then like it was the most expensive looking cutscene I've ever watched. And I'm just thinking, like, how much do you pay your fucking employees? Okay. I've... I, uh, I have a journey. I haven't played it yet. 
but I've wanted to. Looks pretty. Okay. That looks pretty neat. <clears throat> we are pleased to announce Ball Lickers 2. They showed off another game uh, earlier. I thought for sure it was Starship Troopers, but it wasn't. Is this, uh, Talos Principle? I think I've seen pictures of the first one, and there's like a guy who looks like a crash test dummy. And it's like a puzzle game, like Mist or something. This one looks pretty cool too. Great towers rising towards the sky. So much would be possible. I don't know what kind of game it is though. I think it's Talos Principle. And if that's the case, it's like puzzles and shit. Which is Yeah, okay, yeah. So that that's cool. I haven't played the first one yet. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I'll probably get to those eventually. Or maybe not. I'm kind of stupid. I don't think I can handle puzzle games. <clears throat> I have this too, and I haven't played it yet. Uh, Greece, I mean... What is the actual game? Can we see the actual game? <clears throat> I mean, this looks pretty and everything, but... How did she live, but the big deer dog uh, didn't? That's crazy. This is emotional manipulation. This is just like a, a Pixar short film. There was no game! There's no game! <laughs> that was just like a, sh a short film. <laughs> what the fuck? What a waste of time.
That looks like a mobile game. So, you know. Okay, maybe it looks a little better than a mobile game. I'm being mean. I don't want to be all negative during this this presentation. There were a couple cool ones so far. But what the fuck? What what's the point of showing like four minutes of nothing? You know? Uh oh, Square Enix. Get ready, everybody. Oh, we got Fortnite Jonesy over here. Yeah, this is uh, some free-to-play shooter, isn't it? Yeah, I don't care. Okay, it's a showtime! I feel nothing. <laughs> Frank the pissed off gamer. No, not really. There's a oh oh hey another copyrighted song. Cool. Let me just talk over it until I can mute it. Um, no, there's been a couple cool ones, but, like, half of them are just, like, generic looking, and then the other half are just, like, I don't know. Like, the one we just watched with the animated short, it's, like, there's no game. And this is just Splatoon, which is fine, I guess. Yeah, it's a team-based shooter where you, you, yeah, it, oh my god, it literally is just Splatoon. Uh, but you know what? It actually doesn't look terrible. I know, you're breaking my balls. I'm just waiting for the thing that I told- I messaged you about. Because I haven't actually seen it. I just read that that was in here. Can you imagine if people lied? And then Spider-Man. If Spider-Man's in here. Which, I mean, it comes out soon. I would think Spider-Man's in here. Ready for the foam star party? Yeah, okay. So it's just Square Enix Splatoon. With, uh, VTuber aesthetics. Cool. <sighs> Welcome to the land of Mojo. Here we find Jot. The plucky squire and his friend, Violet. Uh, and this looks good. This looks cool. See, I like games that have a unique aesthetic. Uh, this is cute. Looks like Captain Underpants. <laughs> Maybe this isn't the comparison the author wants you to make, but it looked like Captain Underpants. Oh, you, uh... Oh, this is really cool. Dangers. Surprises. See, I I I fuck with this. I like this a lot. Across the two realms, if they are to save their beloved land from his diabolical designs. Off the page and into This looks really good. Plucky Squire. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely going to play that. That is the first one so far where I'm like 100% on board looks really really fun <clears throat> oh okay sure why not ps5 only right <laughs> I hope they're not putting it on the four <laughs> it would probably make it explode <laughs> this game's great so you know the more people that can play it the better I've never seen these rockets before. Maybe that's like a new thing. But, uh... Yeah, Teardown is sick. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, I would get it on PC if I were to get it. You know, if I didn't have it already. Uh, just for mods, but... It's a cool game. Yeah, 
Yeah, Teardown is good. Uh, you should buy it. It's a good game. It just came out of early access too, so I'm I'm kind of surprised it's getting like a console port so fast. I didn't realize it was that much of a. Is Walter White in that version? You know, I don't think so. Not actual gameplay. I'm going to take a guess and say that this might be the thing I was spoiled on. The thing I saw beforehand. Just because it's in a jungle. Okay, so this this has to be it, right? If I didn't get spoiled on the fact that this was in the presentation, I would not have guessed it at all. Because I have no faith in these games ever getting remade. Or this game ever being remade. But hey, here we are. <clears throat> there he is! Looks good. But, you know, it's not gameplay, so... All right, cool. I mean, it's cool. It's nice. They should have remade the first game instead, but what are you going to do? Delta? Triangle? Is that, are they going to remake all the games, the old games? And is that going to be the tag for them? They're going to put a Delta sign? Sure. I didn't even say who's working on it, so I don't I don't know. Oh. Oh shit. Good. Good. That's good. Cuz those are good games and there's no way to play them on modern systems. Like the HD collection might be backwards compatible on on the Xboxes, but also, yeah, fuck you, MGS4. Yeah, what the hell? Seriously. I'd be more excited for a port of MGS4 than I would a remake of 3. This looks weird, and I like it. Okay, it looks less weird. I liked it more when it was giant turtles talking in Simlish. But it still looks cool. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Looks cool. So Snake Eater's getting a remake. It's finally happening. I guess if they're remaking Silent Hill 2, it makes sense. They'd go for 3, because that's the most popular one. Just like how Silent Hill 1 is really the game that needs a remake, MGS1 needs the remake the most. But at least they're porting it to... Uh, New systems. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. Yeah, I, I don't I don't have any faith in Konami making uh <laughs> Creative Business Unit 2. Is that the name of the game? 
Oh, is this um, Final Fantasy? I mean, it looks cool. They uh, they poached the uh, game director or action director of uh, Devil May Cry 5 for this game. So the combat will be good for sure. Like there will not be any doubts about that. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And then, yeah, I don't know how that MGS remake is going to go. Uh, it's really a shame that 4 is still stuck on a, a console that's almost 20 years old at this point. It's kind of unacceptable, you know? If I, if I worked at Konami, I don't know. I think that would be a thing that would pop off a lot more. Like, hey, we're bringing this shit off the PS3, you know? Okay, this has stopped looking cool and now it just looks like random bullshit and I don't care anymore. Oh man. I don't like Square Enix. <laughs> I hate these dumb transitions too. Man, I'm I'm so negative today. I'm sorry guys. I just don't see the point in these uh, transitions and whatever when you could just do it direct style and just go game 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 nightmare i write to escape outlast every word is a step forward in the darkness it looked like john wick i'm glad you're on this case with me anderson it's right up your alley oh shit i know what this is FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. I just heard Max Payne's voice. So you knew Alex. Yeah, okay. I know what this is. Rumors. He was chasing a lighter. Someone knew they were here. Was playing a game with them. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about... <laughs> oh, of course! Sam Lake puts himself in there. Yeah, okay. This is going to be good. Again, I own Alan Wake. Never played it. But, uh... Remedy doesn't make bad games. So, you know. There's something... I'm forgetting. Something Control was good. Something this this looks worse. really fucking cool. Easy now. First things first. Name. Yeah, that's that's gonna be good. <clears throat> Epic is publishing, which means that shit's not coming to Steam. Period. No way. Which uh is a bummer. That might be the first time I actually buy a game on Epic. I'm still gonna wait for it to go on sale, but I had heard about this. And been reborn. This is supposed to be more like the original games and not like uh, Origins and Odyssey and stuff. I think it takes place in Iraq, in Baghdad. Looks good, looks pretty. 
I mean, it looks like Assassin's Creed, you know, what, what else can you say? We need to find a way to get you inside without being seen. You could bribe the guards to look the other way. I shall see what flavor best suits me. the fear quiet it find the stillness and let's go yeah i mean it looks like classic assassin's creed looks good i won't buy it because i'm not buying ubisoft games anymore so I mean, it looks good, you know, but they, they, you know, took people's, uh, property away from them, so I'm never giving them money again, uh, but it does look good. Maybe I'll pick it up on console when it's like 10 years old, I can get it for cheap, but I mean, they, they, they took down their servers and uh for the old games and any i don't care about this uh and you know when they did that anybody who owned dlc for assassin's creed 2 brotherhood or uh, revelations or 3 on on pc you're not able to play your dlc anymore uh because they the, the drm to check if you own the dlc was tied to the multiplayer servers because they're idiots and instead of taking the the effort to just update the game to remove that connection uh they just let it happen so now you you know you own dlc oh yeah no you don't you can't play it sorry but they'll happily sell it to you still so don't don't buy ubisoft games just don't do it they're actually the worst i've never seen another game company that will actively steal from you after you've bought something wow There might be a mod to work around it. That's not the point. This looks alright. It kind of looks like three other games they've shown off already, so... Can I- can we get to Spider-Man? If Spider-Man's not in this presentation, I'm going to be shocked. Cause that game comes out in like... Five months? Or well they didn't say, they just said fall. So maybe it's... No, yeah, five months. This doesn't look bad. It's just, I'm I'm just kind of sick of the high fantasy... I don't know, you know? Shit, man. There's just a lot of games that look like this. That are all coming out. Even in this presentation, there's a bunch. Uh, Street Fighter VI. Okay. I already know that's going to be good. You don't need to sell me on that. Beautiful Joe. During my journey for true strength. Beautiful Joe. I've also met my share of enemies. Opponents I had to overcome. No, create a character, man. My journey knows no end. I will continue to do what I have always done. When you said you were seeking strength, despite having no real need to do so. Honestly, I thought you were a complete idiot. What if it's bad? I mean, people have already played it. It's practically been done for months. You know, the open beta is basically what you get. It's probably worth looking into this nice shawl business. That power seemed to be the Satsui no Hado. Was it simply a trick of the senses? Bison? He 
attempted to set the world under his heel through violence. A veritable mess. I don't know if the story's gonna be any good. <laughs> but I mean, the game itself is gonna be solid. We already know. We've played it. We as a collective, uh, you know, community have had access to it like four times already. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Terrible box art, but you know. Looks pretty. Yeah, I did. I did hear Satsui no Hado, So Thanos, watch out. This is loud. This game's loud. Turn it down a little bit. This looks pretty. I don't have much else to say. You know what is it like? Dead, dead cells, guacamole. You know, kind of. Metroidvania type thing. Hollow Knight, you know, whatever. Looks cool. Like, just looks cool. Uh, it's fucking loud, man. Okay. So, Laser Tag Arena the game. There you go. Uh, Alexa, stop. Making sure it's not my browser. No, it's just the game that looks like uh, shit. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to figure out if the frame rate is like from my browser or if the game is actually just really uh, uncapped. Uncapped frame rate and just kind of runs like shit sometimes. Yeah, alright. Yeah, that looks uh, not good. The game itself looks looks fine. But, like, the performance doesn't look good. Dragon's Dogma? Wow, I'm a psychic. I, uh... I like this game. I like the first game. Uh, I will definitely give this one a shot. The only thing I didn't like about Dragon's Dogma was that I got in on it too late.
Oh, great. Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, I don't care about this. I, uh... I watched somebody play the first game and I thought it was scary, but, like, I'm not... I don't know. I think it's kind of silly there's, like, seven of these. And I'm pretty sure the creator's, like, a crazy Trump guy who donates a shitload of money to, uh, like, evangelical uh, and alt-right groups. So I'm not buying shit from this guy. I think it's still one guy. Maybe it's not one guy anymore, but I, I don't give a shit. I'm not giving him my money. <clears throat> RE4 VR, okay. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, it's RE4, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was trying to think, did RE8 come out yet? Yeah, they have been making those Five Nights games since we've been in, like, fucking middle school or uh, freshman year. Crazy. I don't get it, man. It's works is like a one-off i don't see how you can make like a dozen of them <laughs> there are that many too i'm not even really being that hyperbolic but uh this you know i'm sure this will be great cool yeah cool performance doesn't look that smooth if I'm being honest but uh oh mode it's free good they should not charge people for that separately VR mode yes make it free that's what payday do, uh, 2 did when it got VR uh you know don't be like Bethesda and charge $60 for Skyrim VR you know, don't do that. People own the game, they own the game. Just... You see, everything started two years ago. When I met Fred. Ever since then, it's like shit's face everywhere. And lately, I've started to develop some destructive things. I do not give a shit. <laughs> Another raunchy, wacky, uh, game. And, oh, it's a first-person shooter. And, oh, it's got, uh, zombies. I don't care. <laughs> I'm such an asshole, man. No wonder nobody watches these. My streams, not the showcases. It doesn't help that not a second of this has been gameplay either. This whole thing is just... Oh, I got the first game. I have this game. Uh, it's okay. It's like a VR shooter. It's so decent. It's not even the best zombie shooter in VR, so... I mean, we'll see. Man, we really need MGS4. <laughs> we really... I'm watching this video, and this is just MGS4's dystopian future. Of just gamers uh, fighting in realistic military sims. We need MGS4 back.
I hear Jen Hale. Is that David Hater? This is cool. Definitely more interesting than the military shooter. And that is that is David Hater, unmistakably. Yeah, so they got Naomi and Snake in this. Bye. Looks all right. Looks all right. One of my big complaints about this push. Oh, great. I got to mute this. Uh, Beat Saber is a good game. Big shocker. I mean, yeah. Beat Saber is great. Everybody should get Beat Saber. Um, yeah. I've actually been thinking about rhythm games a lot recently. I want to get back into them. I used to play them a lot when I was a kid and like, you know, early teens. And then once the Guitar Hero craze kind of died off, I mean, nobody, nobody gives a shit anymore. But Beat Saber is great. Um, yeah, we need more VR games that aren't shooters. We need more VR games that aren't just, you're holding a gun, you know? Thoughts on Queen? They're great. Good band. Very good band. I like their music. Oh, Destiny. I don't care. <laughs> I I was interested until I saw Bungie. Now that I know it's Destiny, I do not care. When is Hentai Clicker announcement? I don't know. I've been waiting for that the whole time, to be honest. And All we got was a Snake Eater re remake announcement. And, you know. Yeah. This is a cool trailer, but, like, it's Destiny. Right? It's Destiny. Who are we fooling here? It's the only game they make anymore. Or maybe it's not. It really doesn't look like Destiny, but... I like Bungie, you know? So, if this is a new game from Bungie... I would give it a shot. Okay. Good. Might give it a shot. Bungie makes good stuff. I'm just not a fan of looter shooters. So. Even though I bought. All the fucking Borderlands games for some reason. Oh and here we go. We're transitioning into a uh, Destiny trailer. Or was that a lie? Was that a was that destiny and they just lied to us? I don't even know where to begin. Yeah, a whole bunch of these are just CGI trailers. There was one earlier it was animated like a Pixar short or like a like a Oscar nominated short film, animated short film. And then it the short film part ended and they just said the t name of the game and that was it. I'm like, "What the fuck? I don't even know what this is." You just showed me something sad with, with no gameplay and <laughs> anything good. There was some good stuff. Yeah. There's this one game where you like go from being in like a uh, children's book into popping into like real life. So it kind of looks like a sort of paper Mario thing or like 
it looked cool. It was called, ah, uh, what was it called? I'll have to look it up after. That one was cool though. And, uh, Alan Wake 2, that looks really good. Really spooky. Really cool. Remedy makes good stuff. Uh, I don't know who Cade is. Is that the robot man who was just talking? I'm not a Destiny guy. Never been a Destiny guy. I tried Destiny 2 uh, once, and I was like, this is alright. Do I need to worry about copyright on this song? I'm gonna mute it, just in case. Oh, okay. It was a nothing trailer. Nothing! Just a CGI spaceship and a title card. Come on, guys. Stop. And then they've got these transitions, which are, like, so gratuitous. Just give me a PowerPoint presentation. Nintendo, you know, you're ripping off Nintendo's format anyway. Just do it right. Bungie's last good game came out in, like, 07. I mean, I'm not saying Bungie... No, I'm not going to agree with that. Because I haven't played Destiny enough to decide if it's a good game or not. Fucking millions of people play Destiny every day, and they love it. So I, I would not... I would not say that. Also, Reach came out in 2010, I think. Yeah. Destiny's not a bad game, from what I understand. It's just not my kind of game, which, you know, that's not the same thing. joining us today. Before we get into our final game, I have a few announcements to share. As PlayStation, innovation... I just want Spider-Man. If it's not Spider-Man, I'm just going to turn it off. <laughs> Later this year, we will launch a dedicated device that enables you to stream any game from your PS5 console using remote play or the Wi-Fi. Internally known as... Oh, this. It has an 8-inch HD screen and all of the buttons and features of the DualSense wireless controller. I heard about this. Yeah, whatever. You know. We look forward to it's streaming, so I'm not impressed. Uh <laughs> PlayStation earbuds, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Simultaneously connect to smartphones via Bluetooth. New wireless technology will deliver lossless audio with low latency, giving you outstanding sound quality. <laughs> Uh, I like Reach. It's not my favorite, but it's not bad. Yeah, if if some kid's walking around with PS5 earbuds, he's gonna get his ass beat. I want to thank all of you for your God damn. Okay, it's not Spider Man, so I'll see you guys later. <laughs> like that's it i just i don't give a shit about whatever this is <clears throat> i thought it was snake eater for a second but they showed the snake eater teaser earlier it's craven clearly yeah clearly what are you talking about Okay, it is okay. All right, all right. There, that is Craven, and then Craven's uh, uglier son. It's Craven and Craven Junior. Okay, don't blame me for not recognizing Craven Junior. Uh, all right, cool. Oh my God, he just killed his son. Or I don't. Maybe he's not his son, but why would you do that? You're evil. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, he wasn't his son. I don't know why I jumped to that conclusion. Oh, shit. Wraith, Prowler... Uh, I might have to go back in a second and look at those names, but... Shit, yeah, man. Craven, baby. <laughs> no, it's Spider-Man, and then the other name is Spider-Man 2. Craven's cool. I like Craven. Uh, I used to not like Craven, but I've turned my opinion around on that. Oh, do we get we get to play in other islands? Oh shit, yeah, dude. Other burrows. Let's go. Oh. Oh, we're just We're just jumping right. Okay, fuck it. We're just right into it. What did I miss? Holy shit! I was not expecting them to show the symbiote at all before the game came out. Oh shit, dude. Okay, so Queens is playable, confirmed. And then, I don't know what the fuck happened before this point, but this looks sick. Lizard? Switch to Miles. Fuck yes. Fuck yeah, dude. Lizard. Symbia. Oh my god. New Island. I wonder if it's just Queens or if it's more. Oh, Wingsuit, baby. Wingsuit. I love the lizard. Uh, I when he wasn't in the first game at all, so I, I I'm very happy that uh, he's got a chance to shine here. <clears throat> oh yeah, fuck yeah. We can make our own uh, tight ropes. They just stole that from Arkham Origins. I don't care. It's good. Steal it. <laughs> Even Rocksteady didn't bring that back for night, so. God, Peter's already got the symbiote. What the hell? I mean, they're obviously... Sh this is not the beginning of the game, clearly, but... Well, the venom is blue now. It's not uh, yellow. See, what I like about Insomniac is when they showed off Spider-Man, the original one, you know, everybody was like, oh, this is all fake CG. And then the actual game came out and it looked better than the, the stuff they showed at the PlayStation Showcase. So, or at E3. So, if there's ever a moment where you think this doesn't look like it'll be the real game, <laughs> the real game will actually look and run better. <laughs> uh, okay. Where's the lizard? Oh, I see claw marks on the wall. That looks like a jump cut. It looks like there was a part of that that they intentionally cut out. 
I hope the black suit gets a lot of alt suits. Cameron, I wouldn't be surprised if every suit had a black suit version. I mean, that's how they'd have to do it. Right? Because they wouldn't just have powers locked to a certain suit. The Miles game is good. You should play it. Jesus, Pete. <laughs> you gotta stop doing that. Oh, he got big. He's big. How do the eyes look? The eyes look perfect. Um, for those out of the loop, I complained about Venom's eyes in the original trailer for Venom the movie because they didn't look right. Oh, shit! <laughs> what? Oh, I thought Miles was going to ride it. I'm like really, really excited. Use the tag, man. Watch out for those drones. Don't worry. They think I'm a friend. I like the second movie, the second Venom. I do like. <laughs> the first one is bland as hell, but I like the second one a lot. It's very comic booky. Holy shit! Yeah, so definitely not just Manhattan this time. No, Venom 2 is great. Oh, they both got the the web wings. Fuck, man. Frank's movie tastes are weird. He defends Venom 2 and The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi is a good movie, so I... You can argue that Venom 2 is a bad movie that I enjoy, but Last Jedi is a good movie. Fuck off. <laughs> and you know what? You, you say my movie taste can be confusing. I'm an individual. I like what I like. What can I say? The heart wants what the heart wants. What I like about this is that it implies that earlier we're going to see the lizard and he's not going to be this big either. He's going to have the lab coat and shit, I'm sure.
Ooh. Connors wasn't in the first one. He might have had a reference in the backpacks. You do see somebody dressed up at the, as the lizard in uh, the Halloween mission. So, the lizard already existed. All right. Um, still fall. Yep. The plan has not changed. Uh, looks good. Yeah, let's go through our sizzle reel. Uh, that looks neat, I guess, but there was no game. I, yeah, we're not doing this. Yeah, all right. It was fine. There's some shit games, some not so shit games. It's not gonna get delayed, it's way too close. Well, Suicide Squad got delayed, but that was closer than this. Uh, I wanted to look back at the map. Wait, what was the name of the game that looked cool? <laughs> the one game. It, well, no, there was the surfboard one too. Uh, and then real quick, because I gotta go. Sword of the Sea, that looks cool. You know, that's from the creator of Journey, I guess. You're like surfing around and shit in like these cool worlds. Cool, alright. And then the other one was what? What was it called? It was the fucking one where you pop out of the storybook. The Plucky Squire. This looks sick as shit. Like, half the game is like this? You're in a book? And then boom! It's like a Link's Awakening remake, you know? You're like a little toy. It's awesome. The Plucky Squire. I'm gonna get that one for sure. That, that looks cool. All right, now real quick, I wanted to look at this, this Spider-Man clip again. Uh, the part where they're Craven's looking at the map, and there were some names on there I wanted to check out. Okay, Black Cat. We already we we know her. Uh, Prowler. Yep. Wraith. Wraith is a new one. That's not a character from the Miles game or the first game. I think that might be Yuri. Going off of just the hair. Maybe I'm a bullshitter. Let me Google something. Marvel Wraith. Okay. I'm going to keep the answer to myself, but... Uh, I'll just say that I feel uh, vindicated. <laughs> Tombstone. Okay, that that's the one I didn't see. We, we've already met him. Uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Lizard. That's another one I didn't see. Who is this? Is that Electro? Oh, you don't even see it. I think that's Electro. Right here. At the raft. Taskmaster. And then there was another one in the last, like, split second there we didn't see. Alright, yeah. Uh, Spider-Man 2 looks good. Um couple other oh, couple other games that look good overall kind of a waste of time <laughs> but uh hey cool hey joe you missed it we just watched the playstation showcase um it was mostly not worth it but they showed off spider-man so all right yeah most showcases are just fucking whatever
But Spider-Man 2 looks good. Uh, there's a couple cool games in there I'm going to put on my wish list. Uh, thanks to my subs. Make this quick. Because I got to go. Uh, Ivanko1224, Elucha Dead, Pat McGroin, the three of you. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks to everybody who popped in. Uh, yeah, so this is it for this month. Next month, you're going to see some changes in the channel. Uh, not like content-wise, but like presentation wise a little, little more production value and uh yeah I, I think i've got the games for next month planned out already but i'm not naked i'm wearing a shirt okay that's it everybody take care